What the? It totally kills her vibe. Or when I tap their flank and go pop, 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 pop. Ooh, it totally takes them off their game. Because a lot of times they're in a place of conflict, and so yeah. when you create some curiosity or a little bit bizarre sensory, yeah. they it takes snaps them out of but it. But this is, to be honest, like the fact that she's not flipping out with that dog barking is. is no, she's on it. She's visual. Is she? She's yeah. visual. Yeah, she's it. You know, things flooding into the amygdala and her going over is, is kind of the precursor for her behavior, and it is all visual. Yeah. So all much right. so that I could probably go ahead and walk to the fence line. Okay. Come here. No. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Go on. So do you want me on the other side? Or just no, just right there. Okay, okay turn her back around. Yeah. Walk her up. Let's just solve your uh, your enigma there. Go and walk her to the fence line. All high fee, turn around. Get this thing started. That is really interesting. Yep. But so you see, what? Why do you think she didn't go below first time? Why do you think uh, it wasn't as bad? I don't know. I don't know. What did you let her do? Oh, come to the dog. She got to do what she wanted. Yeah. So we know that there's a bit of frustration and overstimulation there. Yeah. Right. She's pissed. She can't get there, so she vocalizes. She's stuck in a habit. She probably does that all the time. Yeah. And that's how she just. That's just in here. I do this. But when you allow her to go forward towards something, she wants to smell. But when a dog isn't quite sure what they want to do and it's a real live, you know, breathing animal, oftentimes they come in too hot. So let's say, and she comes in that hot, that real dog is not going to stand there like a statue. That real dog is going to respond or stand tall because it's too much too soon. You should, that's poor etiquette. And so when a dog stands tall and a pity's fur missling in, even if they were there to sniff, there's a misunderstanding. Because one dog shows conflict, and as soon as you show a pity conflict, even though they're the one like spurring it because of poor etiquette, misunderstandings. I'm willing to get, this is just my own personal theory, but I would be willing to wager that most of the pity skirmishes, 60 to 70% of pity skirmishes are misunderstandings. They come in too hot, too much, yeah. and then put the dog on their back foot, and they misinterpret things, and boom. Or they just create an altercation by coming in too hot. <laughs> 